A few weeks ago, I uploaded a video where I built this custom Linux Mint PC, and I've been using it as my main computer since. In today's video, I want to walk you through what my experience has been using Linux Mint coming from Mac OS, why I chose Linux Mint, which applications I've been using, and also I want to try to answer as many questions as possible that you had from that video. The build has held up very nicely over the last few weeks. All of the components are fully compatible with Linux Mint and it runs exceptionally quiet under even a heavy load. The original cable management for my build video has remained intact and works well within this compact case. I would highly recommend the components I used and I'll link them again in the description. However, I'd even more strongly recommend the Fractal Terra Jade case. It's not just about aesthetics despite its compact size, it offers ample space which leaves plenty of room for the upgrades that I have planned in the future. I absolutely love this entire setup. It doesn't just look great, it's also incredibly functional. The one small hiccup I've run into is the Keychron keyboard. I can't seem to get the Bluetooth to work with Linux, which explains this physical cable. It connects to my work MacBook just fine, but this desktop I have to use this tightly managed USB-C cable. If you have any ideas on how to fix the Bluetooth, please let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. On the bright side, every other accessory like this webcam and all of my other Bluetooth devices have worked flawlessly with this Mint setup. Speaking of things that worked well, I also recently switched from iPhone to Android. More on that for the channel soon. And Android also integrates perfectly with Linux. If you'd like to see a video about that, let me know in the comments as well. Overall, especially coming from a Mac, I couldn't be happier with how this has all turned out. One of the main reasons that I switched from Mac to Linux is personally, I just don't really like Windows and I wanted to move away from the Apple ecosystem. While I absolutely love everything Apple's doing with their M-series chipsets, I wanted to escape the expensive and unsustainable cycle of constantly upgrading my Mac. With this custom setup, I can easily upgrade individual parts and run all of my essential apps, saving money without making any compromises. I use OBS for screen recording, Caden Live for video editing, and Audacity for my voiceovers, dragging the voiceover into my Caden Live timeline. For photo editing, it's GIMP instead of Photoshop. I also heavily use Chrome, Slack, and the terminal. So in terms of apps, I've been able to find a comparable app for every app that I used on my Mac on this Linux PC. I haven't had any issues with the apps that I've been using, and I'll leave all of the apps that I am using on this setup in the description of this video, so that way you have those if you're interested. You can definitely customize Linux Mint, and a great place to start is, well, the wallpaper. The ones I'm using are fantastic, particularly on a large monitor like mine. I'll leave all the details, including the links to the wallpapers and the channel where I discovered them down in the description. To really make Linux Mint my own, I moved the main panel to the top of the screen. I then customized all of the elements like the clock calendar and workspace switcher to make things simpler and more productive for me. Down at the bottom, I've replaced the standard taskbar with the plank dock. I just prefer its Mac OS feel over the default mint setup and if you want to tweak it a simple control right click lets you customize plank completely for my applications menu i'm using cinemenu it's a really clean alternative for linux mint i love the fact that it's fast fluid and organizes all of my apps perfectly it's also fully customizable which i'll get back to in a moment but first i want to dive into themes when you open the theme settings you'll get control over the whole look and feel you can customize your mouse pointer application windows icons and the desktop itself mint includes some great themes right on out of the box, but you can also download custom ones. I'll leave links in the description for the specific themes and icon packs that I'm using. Installing them is simple. Once downloaded, find the .icons folder in your home directory and extract your icon packs there. It's the same for themes. Just extract them into the .themes folder and after that, they'll show up here in the themes app ready for you to select and customize your Linux Mint experience as well. All right, let's jump back to Cinemenu. If you right click on it and choose configure, you'll open up a ton of customization options. You can change the entire layout, tweak its behavior, and even set your preferred web search engine like Google or DuckDuckGo. You can also customize its appearance, for example, by swapping out the menu icon for one of your own. It just goes to show the possibilities for personalizing your Linux Mint desktop are pretty much endless. To customize the panel itself, just right click on it and select Panel Edit Mode. This allows you to easily rearrange everything. You can move applets around or shift your calendar and clock to a different spot. You can also customize the workspace switcher. For instance, you can choose between simple buttons like I have or a more visual layout of your workspaces. It gives you some nice options to choose from. You can also customize the time and date format to get it exactly how you like. If you want a layout similar to mine, I'll put the format I'm using in the description below. Otherwise, you can easily find all the different options by googling date and time format codes. 
So again, there's plenty of options for customization on Linux. There's other distros you can go with where you get even more customization options. If you go with like an Arch install, you could really customize it to your liking. But with Linux Mint, there's definitely a lot of options still out there to really customize it to make it your own like I did. So don't feel like you're left with just the out of the box Linux experience, which I know to many people feels dated. Again, you can customize it to your liking and still get a pretty modern feel out of that uh, Linux distro specifically. I'll leave, again, some of the details in the description of this video. If you have any questions, though, definitely leave a comment below. Overall, I couldn't be happier with this new custom Linux build. I love having the freedom to make my own decisions. Whether I want to switch from Mint back to Arch or swap out components down the line, it feels great to be free from Apple's walled garden and soldered parts. This ability to customize my setup whenever I want is a feeling I could just never get with a Mac. My daily workflow using workspaces, for example, is fantastic, and most importantly, all of my essential apps run beautifully without impacting my productivity. So that's been my experience with this custom build. Let me know in the comments down below, though, if you have any additional questions on this specific build, Linux in particular, or if you have questions on Linux distros, or if you have recommendations on other Linux content you'd like to see, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching, take care, and stay safe.